So we'll begin by settling into the body, finding a sense of groundedness in the body, and allowing ourselves this time and space to go into this practice called Wheel of Awareness. So begin by finding a comfortable way of sitting, settling in, and softening the body, and also softening the mind, bringing in an attitude of gratitude, of saying hello to the body, and feeling this grounded quality. No place to go in this moment, nothing to do, just an invitation to shift from doing into being. So the body and the mind are in the same place, at the same time. And as a way of introduction, just a reminder of this metaphor of the wheel of awareness. So picturing that we have a wheel with a hub in the middle, and this is the hub of knowing of our consciousness, that which knows. And around this wheel, at the rim, we have all aspects of our experience, that which we're aware of that which is being known. So the, the wheel has different sections and what we'll do is with our attention, which is visualized as a spoke of a wheel, going from the hub out to point to the different aspects of our experience in this moment, we'll be going around the wheel. First of all, in order to differentiate between awareness and that which we're aware of and also to gain a holistic view of our experience in this moment by going around the wheel and then to integrate all of these experiences. So this practice has all the key aspects of mindfulness practice, which is the focused attention uh, and the open monitoring, just opening up and being aware of whatever comes and goes, as well as this awareness of awareness remaining in the hub and then finally also our, a sense of our connectedness, of contemplation and of cultivating well-being and well-wishes to ourselves and others and our interconnectedness. So this is a holistic mindfulness meditation practice. And we'll begin, as we already have, by coming into the body and softening the body, softening the mind, and finding the breath in the body. So just riding the in-breath and the out-breath, feeling the expansion and contraction in the body. And then letting go of the breath as the focus of attention Visualizing this wheel with the hub and then with the spoke of attention directing your awareness and attention to the first section, the first segment of the wheel, which is our sensory experience. And we'll begin with sound. So for a moment, just bringing your awareness to the whole experience of sound and the soundscape in the room, outside the room, just letting sounds come and go. And we'll allow sounds to fill our awareness. And then moving the spoke of attention to focus on visuals, on the sense of sight and light. So whether you have your eyes closed or open, just opening up to anything you're experiencing in the visual sense in this moment, maybe light, darkness, sh uh, shades or colors and shapes behind the eyelids or with the eyes open. So letting sight and light feel your awareness for a moment
And then moving the awareness to the sense of smelling. Just opening up to any sense of aroma or smell that you can be aware of in this moment. And then taste, moving the spoke of attention and allowing the sense of taste to fill your awareness. And then finally moving over to the sense of touch. So feeling any part of your body where the skin maybe touches the furniture or the ground underneath, or the hands resting in the lap or in each other. Just opening up now to the sense of touch and letting that fill your awareness. So now moving over to the second segment of the wheel, which is the interior sensations in the body, what we might call introception or even the sixth sense, which is more of a somatic experience of the body. So not so much the surface sensations, but going inside of the body. And this is a capacity that we train through mindfulness, but it's a, it's a natural capacity we have to tune into the body. So now gently bringing the spoke of attention to the sensations in your face and the interiority of the face, the muscles, the bones, the skull. Feeling the eyes and the jaw, the cheeks, the mouth, the eyeballs resting in their sockets. It's resting awareness here this interior sense of the face and the head. Now feeling the top of the head, the scalp, the fontanelle. And just receiving the sensations that naturally come to you. Now including the sides and the back of the head, the ears. Now feeling the throat, the neck, and down into the shoulders. And then starting to stream and scan your attention down through the arms, all the way from the shoulders out into the fingertips. Coming back up to the shoulders, feeling the upper part of the torso, the chest and the upper back. Scanning down through your torso, the mid back, solar plexus, the lower back, the abdomen, the lower belly, in the seat, in the hips, and in your own way scanning now from the hip sockets all the way out through your legs into the feet and toes.
now coming from the feet up into the pelvic region. the perineum, and feeling and opening up to the sensations of the genitals. The digestive system, the lower belly. So allowing this interior sense of the body to fill your awareness, fill the hub of awareness. the abdomen, the stomach, diaphragm, the lungs, and feeling your heart in this moment. And the air coming down from the nose, through the windpipes, into the lungs. Just feeling the natural process of breathing. From the nose, also back into the sinuses, into the head, the brain. And then relaxing, softening, expanding awareness to include the whole body, all the way from the top of the head to the tips of the toes, the face, the lungs, the heart, abdomen, the genitals, the legs, the feet, shoulders and arms, opening up and letting this interception this interior sense of the body, feel your awareness. So from this place, when you're ready, We'll move the spoke of attention to the third segment of the wheel, which is our mental activity. This includes thoughts and memories and feelings and longings and intentions, all of mental life, which we might call the seventh sense. And so what we'll do is direct this spoke of attention to just open up to mental activity as they come and go. And here we'll shift from what, what's known as focused attention, where we direct and stay with our attention, to what's called open monitoring. So it's a sense of just opening up and allowing this mental activity to come and go as they wish, and staying centered in this hub of awareness. So it's the quality of bring it on standing firmly, open, and allowing mental activity like thoughts and memories and plans and intentions and feelings to just come and go. And we'll start this practice right now. So remembering that there is no right or wrong thoughts to have or any right or wrong experience in this moment. But see if you can remember this hub of awareness of not being pulled away or identified with the thoughts, but simply observing and witnessing the thoughts.
And so in this practice, it can be helpful to bring in a sense of inquiry, of actually investigating the nature of mental activity. So see if you can become curious and see how do, how do these thoughts and mental appearance arise into your consciousness? Do they come suddenly or gradually? Are they clearly distinguished or are they kind of floating together? And how do they behave when they stay? Is there a coherent visual story that's playing out? Do they have a certain uh, quality of fl flickering or is it more stable? And how do they leave awareness? Do they leave suddenly? Are they uh, perhaps replaced by another thought or memory immediately? And if they're not replaced, what is that gap like? So from this place, we're going to allow the spoke of attention to sink back into the hub of awareness. So this is all just a metaphor and a map. Essentially what we want to do is let go of the contents of awareness and allow the attention to do a U-turn, coming back to you, coming back to that which is aware. not focusing on any particular expression or experience of what you're aware of, but resting back, just sinking back and letting awareness rest in the hub. This is the practice of being aware of awareness itself. This is the ground of being, which is beyond time and space and differentiated parts of our experience. This is the plane of possibility where there is no time, there is no separation. This is the aspect of ourselves that enables integration. This is the hub that connects all the aspects of the rim all the segments of our experience. So seeing if you can allow the spoke now to sink back and rest back into the hub, this awareness of awareness. So now finding the breath, this riding this wave-like motion of inflow and outflow for a few breaths. And from here we'll again move the spoke of attention to the fourth and final segment of the wheel, which is our interconnectedness. So we will begin and I invite you now to open up the experience to include other people. So perhaps you're sitting in a room doing this practice together with others or perhaps people 
not doing the practice but that are somewhat close to you so expanding that sense of awareness to include people in your physical proximity opening up now further to include family and friends that you can invite in and bring into your awareness the sense of connectedness and expanding further to include people perhaps that you work with or that you know Expanding further to include perhaps the city where you live and in the whole country. And eventually just expanding to include all people on this planet. Noticing your body, you're sitting here on this spot inside the earth, in the atmosphere of the earth, sharing this beautiful planet with billions of other people. So now opening up to that recognition, that truth, that we are here together and including all living beings now on earth. And then beyond, opening up to life itself, all living beings, all life forms, everywhere. And then from this place, moving into the final part of the practice, which is the contemplation of loving kindness, of cultivating kind attention to ourselves and others, it's sometimes called the metta or maitri practice. And so you can just feel into the phrases that I'm sharing and then maybe repeat them or some version of them that feels right to you for yourself, maybe silently or out loud. So just remaining with this open sense of all beings everywhere. And may all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy and safe. May all beings flourish and thrive. And then feeling your own heart, your own being, and directing this same type of loving kindness, these intentions, to yourself and repeat the phrases, may I be happy, may I live with meaning, connection, equanimity, may I live with a playful, grateful and joyful heart, may I be healthy in body and mind, may I be protected and safe, from inner harm and outer harm. May I flourish and thrive and live with the ease of well-being. So breathing, feeling your heart. And so from this place, just recognizing our interconnectedness, how we're all connected to each other. Not just us and them, but the we, which includes your individual sense of self. And from that place, just reciting the phrases, may we be happy. May we live with meaning, connection and equanimity. With joyful, playful, grateful hearts.
May we be healthy in mind and have a body that gives energy and flexibility, strength and stability. May we be safe, protected from inner harm and outer harm. And may we flourish and thrive and live with the ease of well-being. From this place, finding your breath once again. And see if you can remain in the space of in the recognition of our interconnectedness and at the same time invite in a sense of groundedness, of being in your body right here and now and feeling the breath come and go. So then in your own way and in your own time, you can begin to bring the practice to a close by thanking yourself for taking this time to practice, for doing this wheel of awareness in order to differentiate the aspects of awareness and then integrating it back into this connecting hub of awareness and also cultivating a wise and kind heart. So thank you.